Well, the team are in Italy. I'm here at BT Murrayfield to try out a new virtual reality experience created by BT and Scottish Rugby. <laughs> Expect Hugh Jones to throw in a switch. BT's collaboration with Scottish Rugby allows the virtual reality headset, the haptic suit, and the ambisonic audio to be used simultaneously, so I get a fully immersive experience. Oh, that's weird. We're going to immerse people in the player's world for the first time ever. We're going to put people in not just a VR headset to watch it, but they're also going to wear this haptic vest so that when they're watching it, as a player glances past you, as someone pats you on the back, you're actually going to feel that. <laughs> this is a cutting edge moment in a professional sporting environment. Here's a little insight as to how it all came together. We had a virtual reality camera training with us today, so while we were doing some of our backs training, we had the camera alongside us, so we were uh, getting it involved in attack and defence. During the Guinness Six Nations, the Scotland team made 12 of their backs available to take part in filming. <laughs> it was almost following our, our kind of moves in place, just keeping up with us so uh, you guys at home can watch. Well, Scottish Rugby created with their coaches all of the drills that you see in the VR experience, which made it really authentic. We planned a few sessions and sent some examples to the production company and that footage was used with a club down in London. We did a test shoot. We got an amateur rugby team to come along. We tested out some of the drills that we were using, getting the play as near to the camera as possible and capturing the guys at their best. We've got this incredibly fast remote control dolly, which is called the Agito, and it can go up to 30 miles an hour. So we'll be able to give a unique perspective. And to do that, you've got to use an incredibly good 360 camera. And this one is actually a prototype. It's one of only two in the world. And it's going to allow us to see with unrivaled clarity and dynamic range and resolution what it's like to be in that position in the middle of the pitch as a player. Traditionally, you'd have close-ups, mid-shots, wide shots, and you're creating sequences that you're cutting together. Whereas the thing about this, it's all one take, so there's different challenges in that that there is in a normal film. The gimbal that stabilizes the camera has to be absolutely pin quiet, because you can't interrupt that ambience that we're capturing for 3D sounds. There's a large number of challenges to trying to get this number of different pieces of technology to all work together seamlessly. As a Scotland fan growing up, I would have loved to have got closer to the, the team in this way and felt what it's like to train with them. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great idea by BT. It doesn't just feel like it's just a camera filming the boys. You're actually, you know, right amongst it, so it's awesome. It's been important for us going back a number of years now to be innovative and look for different ways to stretch our performance team, whether it's through GPS, tablets, and, and so this is really the next step. But also from an interaction with fans' perspective, having used the technology, it is world class. So it's our next level of engagement with our fan base and, and creating an experience for them. Call me up for the Scotland team anytime.